Hi right, everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, uh, the people's champion, uh, your host, the Hut, and welcome back to the Baseball Hut 2. Hope you like this video and subscribe. Now, we've had a sort of terrible season here with the Mets, just terrible. But it could have been a lot worse, believe it or not. Things could have been a lot worse. If you find yourself in a bad situation, always remember it could be worse. Well, it's funny I should mention this. The Mets obviously were so bad, they, they basically had a fire sale. And they traded all the veteran players that they had on, on the team. Guys like Justin Verlander, David Robertson, Tommy Pham, Mark Canna. And of course, well, it's funny you should ask that again, Max Scherzer. Well, what's been going on with Max? Not a lot of great things there down in, down in Austin. Or Austin, I'm talking about. And Arlington. Not a lot of great things. Not, nothing going on great in Austin either. But not a lot of great things happen in Arlington. Um, really, the last few weeks, the, the Rangers season is basically going down the drain. Um, this was a team that was completely dominating the American League. And they have basically collapsed. Uh, I don't know how deep this collapse will be. Maybe they'll, get, they'll sneak in on the last spot. But they currently are not in the playoff. They are not in the playoffs right now. The season would end today. He would not, they would not be in the playoffs. Well, things have gotten much worse for the for the Rangers, believe it or not. Now, if you paid attention here at the Baseball Hut 2 and the Baseball Hut, uh, the other great right-hander that had been signed by the Rangers, that's the former Met ace Jacob DeGrom, well, he's out for the, <coughs> he's out for the season because he had to get Tommy John surgery, blew his elbow out. Well, now another Mets ace... A guy, probably the single reason the Mets did not make the postseason last year, the number one reason, because when the Mets needed him to pitch one big game against the Braves and one big game against the Padres, he failed and fell on his face completely. And Max Scherzer is, will be forever, and uh, it means ever, when it comes to the Mets, uh, for being that. He brought a lot of professionalism here. But he also fell flat on his face when the Mets needed him. Now on Tuesday, he got hurt. Again. I even did a lot of nicks and pains. And, ooh, ah, ee, you know, a lot of these pains. But here we got from Odyssey. And at the end, and you'll see what has happened now. This is from earlier today. Rangers starting pitcher Max Scherzer exit start with right tricep spasm. Rangers ace Max Scherzer was forced to leave his Tuesday night start due to a right tricep spasm. Club announced. Scherzer will be evaluated on Wednesday. Scherzer, who has been dealing with forearm tightness, Winston pain at the throwing a pitch in the sixth inning. Catcher Jonah Heim, pitching coach Mike Maddox, and, Mad and manager Bruce Bochy and the athletic trainer came out to speak with the 39-year-old. Now, a day later, we have some news on Max. Some really bad news for Max and the Rangers. Max Scherzer unlikely to return this year due to terrorist major strain. The same injury that Justin Verlander had. That took him out for about a month. But here's the difference. Verlander only missed the first month. Scherzer's going to miss the rest of the season. This is from MLB Trade Rumors. Rangers general manager Chris Young informed reporters, including Evan Grant of the Dallas Morning News, that right here, the Max Scherzer has a terrorist major strain. Scherzer is not needed, but he is out of the rest of the regular season and unlikely to pitch in the playoffs either. The rate, the rate they're going, the Rangers aren't going to make the playoffs. The Rangers officially placed Scherzer on the 15-day injured list shortly after the news was announced, with righty Jonathan Hernandez recalled and a corresponding move. It is obviously a terrible development for the Rangers. Oh, you think so? <laughs> you think so? Who are in the midst of a tight playoff race with just two weeks to go. The Rangers are game back of the Astros in the West in the West Division and in the American League West and are currently clinging to a, the second wildcard spot. Oh, they're still clinging around, still skulking around. But with both the Blue Jays and Mariners just half a game back, Scherzer left his start against the Blue, the Blue Jays last night and was slated for an MRI today, which apparently revealed the strain. Now, he's in Toronto. They weren't the teams in Toronto. This is the latest setback in the club's attempt to improve its starting rotation, which was a significant weak point last year. Oh, you think so? They lost almost 100 games last year. 
In the offseason, the club re-signed Martin Perez, traded for Jake Odorizzi, and signed free agents Jacob DeGrom, Nathan Navaldi, and Andrew Haney. With that group, joining incumbents John Gray and Dane Dunning. But Odorizzi never pitched for the club, requiring a soldier solder procedure that wiped out his whole season. DeGrom made six starts. Let me count that. Six starts before landing on the injured list and ultimately requiring Tommy John surgery. As an aside about uh, Jacob DeGrom, two years ago, uh, the Mets uh, president of baseball operations at the time and former general manager, Sandy Olson, said that Jacob had an issue with his elbow, that he had a tear in the elbow. That did not go over well with Jake two years ago. And because of that, he was very ticked off at, at Sandy for revealing that. So the belief is, especially from my point of view, that Jacob was probably dealing with this arm injury for quite a long time. And the Rangers were dumb enough to sign him to a five-year deal. Now, the article continues, Both Haney and Perez struggled early in the year and have been pitching out of the bullpen, bullpen of late. We skipped to Scherzer. Scherzer wasn't quite having as dominant as a season as in the past, posting a 4.01 ERA with the Mets prior to the trade. But the Rangers were still naturally intrigued by his incredible track record that, that goes way back to 2008. They sent prospect Luis Angel Cunha to the Mets in order to bring Scherzer aboard. Though the latter club, which is the Mets, also sent $35 million to Texas in order to cover part of Scherzer's salary for the rest of this year and next as well. The veteran had better results after the deal. With 3.20 ERA over his eight starts since coming to the range, unfortunately, the club will now have to proceed through what's left the regular season without him. Now, I would mention he has not pitched well. He had a chance to pitch well against the Houston Astros last week, and he completely bombed. He was terrible. Terrible. Subtracting Scherzer from the rotation leaves the range with Montgomery, Evaldi, Gray, and Dunning. They will need a fifth star as soon as the weekend, which could perhaps result that in either Haney or Perez returns to the rotation. Haney has an ERA of 4.10 on the, on the year. Those 24% strikeout rate is a big drop-off from last year's 35%. Well, it, it doesn't matter. They have a big problem. These guys cannot equal the, the reputation of Max Scherzer. Now, Scherzer has not pitched well when they needed him to pitch well down there in, in Texas. So this is just another disappointment that Max Scherzer has given the team that he's pitched for. We've seen the disappointment he left for us here in New York City. The Mets got all messed up. He was just absolute, and the heart means terrible here. When Mets needed him to, and he's done it again. Um, and now he's missed the entire season. And what did the Mets get out of this whole situation? They got one of the best prospects in baseball. And he's just starting to pick it up a little bit. Maybe a bit of an adjustment coming here with the Mets. But uh, he is doing rather well in triple in double A. He will be pushing for the major league sometime next year. Yeah, this is this is how it is when you get older pitchers that are you know pushing forty years old. You're gonna have to deal with these kind of injuries that pop up, and you're gonna have to figure out is this guy a fast healer? And Scherzer is not a fast healer, folks. This is a one month, at least a one month injury. So that season could be over a month from now anyway. Not that, not that it matters at this point with the Rangers. They are this, this, the second wild card, but who knows? Without Scherzer, then that stability of the, of the possibility of pitching well in the bullpen, they're in big trouble. Well, it's not our trouble here in New York City anymore, uh, but uh, that's that. That's that, and that's the story. So anyway, let me know what you think about this video. Of course, please subscribe to the Baseball Hut, too. Thank you, and I'll see you later.